This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Meanwhile, dozens of Tunisian fishermen captured last week by Libyan armed men have been released. Here is CGTN's Adnan Shawashi with the details of their return. Thanks to negotiation efforts by Libyan and Tunisian parties, 25 fishermen returned to the port of Sfax, Tunisia's economic city. They were welcomed by their families, friends and regional authorities. We were treated humanely in Libya. Our Libyan kidnappers provided food and shelter. We were not mistreated nor beaten, but uncertain about the release time. Thank God it's over. The fishermen say they feared for their lives when Libyan armed men boarded the two fishing vessels and kidnapped the crew. They said their property sustained no material damage. We were the only foreign fishermen at the Libyan port. We are lucky because we could have been released after two months. But mediation effort was successful. The negotiations with the Libyan side were led by the Tunisian government and civil society. The president of the Regional Agriculture and Fisheries Union, INSFAX, says that fishing has become dangerous amid the ongoing instability in Libya. The negotiations with the Libyans were ensured by a crisis committee at the Tunisian government, the foreign ministry, the agriculture ministry, as well as the ministry of defense. However, we condemn the growing piracy. Working at the sea has become so risky and uncertain. The Tunisian government has reiterated its call on all Libyan stakeholders to sit at the negotiating table in order to reach a peaceful settlement to the Libyan crisis. Experts say the instability in the North African country has affected many vital economic sectors in the region. Authorities in the coastal city of Sfax in the border regions with Libya have announced that security measures will be reinforced in Tunisia's territorial waters in order to protect fishing vessels and to prevent the escalation of violence in the Mediterranean basin. Abdel Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.